So hello everybody and welcome to another Power Query video. This time I'm going to show you how to create grand totals by appending a table with itself. Very cool technique, I'll tell you why in just a second. Okay, why would you want to have grand totals in Power Query? Here's the thing, some visualizations actually require to have the, the subtotals and the grand totals on the same table in order to be able to visualize them later. So this is why we're going to do it. The technique will allow you to combine a table with itself. So the technique itself is quite useful. Um, but now you know why at least. So <laughs> let's get started. I'm going to show you the data. It is actually very simple. You have a year, you have um, Pacific Iceland countries imports and exports. So here you have in this column the imports, here you have where the countries where it's imported or exported, you see it here, and then you have the, the value of export import. So what I want to have is the total imports and export for each specific country. So this is what we're going to do first. We're going to calculate the grand total. So I'm going to go here, group by, and then I'm going to do by year, by Pacific Island countries, then I'm going to do by trade flow, the imports and exports. And what I want to do now is I want to get the sum of the imports and exports. So the observable value, which is the trading value. So here I'm going to do the sum of the obs value. I'm going to call it the same because then we're going to append these two together. So they have to have the same name. Be careful with that. Values. Oh, it has to be... In capital, exactly the same, Power Query is case sensitive, remember that. So this is the way it's going to look. So now I have a table that has year, Pacific countries, trade flow, imports and exports, but the countries are gone, it's summarized by the countries. So this is the total imports and the total exports. Now, I'm going to do a small thing here. I'm going to, um, I never find this, what is it? Moments later. Okay, here it is. Format, add, prefix. And I'm going to add the word total. Total. Because those are the grand totals, right? I want to know which column is the grand total. So now we have total imports, total exports. Beautiful. And now we need to put this table here together with the previous table where it was by subregion. So I need to append these two tables. How do you do that? We're going to do it in the advanced editor because Power Query is case sensitive. If you misspell something, it will drive you nuts. So easier to do it there by copying the steps name. So we go to advanced editor, click comma here. We're going to, the step name is going to be append tables. And then I'm going to do table combine. So neat. And then I'm going to put the table with the uh, sub uh, with the countries the export countries so it is that one and then I'm going to put this the prefix which is the one that has the summarized values there and then this is going to give us an error but I want to keep it so you are aware of this let me show you now we need to call in this step the step not the previous step so we put appended appended tables in there and you see, give us an error. It says, we cannot convert table to list. We were table combine, combines lists, not tables. And what I put in here are tables. So in order to convert these to a list, you need to put the squirrely brackets. Okay. And I'm doing this separately so you're aware of this, so you don't miss the curly brackets. Now, here at the bottom, because we did other prefix, the last one is the total exports and total imports. Cool, now we have the grand totals together with the uh, subtotals. And now you can visualize them any way you want. Cool, huh? Okay, so now on tomorrow's um, Kerbal Data Labs channel, I'm gonna show you how to create a proportion plot. That is so, so good. Using chart calculator, though, you cannot do that in Power Query, as uh, in Power BI. You can do it in Power BI with Charticulator, but you need to use Charticulator though. So stay tuned for that, and I'll see you again tomorrow or Thursday. You choose. Bye-bye.